Jason was kind enough to lend us his tonneau cover, so that's why we came over here as well. So I'm borrowing his soft tonneau cover, at least since I only have two doors, so that I can put some of my stuff in the back on our way over to Florida, so at least I have some sort of cargo space. The next day. What's going on guys? Today's video, we've got our Ram 1500 behind us. We're in Louisiana. Let's get started. <laughs> Today's video. So right now I'm just doing a bit of a vlog style for you guys. I just got to Louisiana from Texas. Got the truck behind us and I'm headed to Florida. So don't want to jinx it because I've had uh, a lot of trouble trying to get a new shop and location but um, might finally have a spot in Florida. So we're in a deal right now trying to get the you know I guess the deal uh, finalized but it looks like we might finally find a place and it's in Florida so I gotta go down there and check it out figured I'd bring the new project vehicle with us and I also once I'm down in Florida we've got a bunch of cool parts showing up for this thing so uh, let me turn this camera around and show you guys so if you guys haven't seen the last video here is the truck um, we picked this up a few days ago yeah it's only really been two days that we've got it right now she's bone stock but we are gonna be doing a ton of cool stuff to it and like I showed you guys the last time I showed you guys this probably in daylight it looks very light blue but then as the sun starts to go down or gets behind the clouds it turns into this navy blue so i really do like this color but anyways enough of that she's bone stock not much to see louisiana you can see the sign right behind me we're headed on the road i got a bunch of stuff showing up for this thing though once we get down to florida just a bunch of bolt-on stuff we're gonna be completely giving this thing a makeover before we finally go hellcat swap in this so um you guys might have heard that in the last video but i want to keep reminding you that's the end goal with this thing so let's jump on the road to see what we see on our adventure. One thing I didn't know when I picked this up, you guys, is this thing has like the cheapest tires in the world. Like this is a joke that me and Jason have, Ling Long tires. <laughs> it's got these on here. So I'm just praying that these things are okay. And they're not exactly new. They're like almost down to the wear bars or even at the wear bars in some areas. So just hoping they'll be okay. We're gonna be changing up these wheels. I was almost debating putting my 24 inch Hellcat wheels on here, but I thought it would be a little uh, funny on a stock ride height truck. But I'm almost wondering if I should have swapped them out, but I don't know, we'll see. Maybe when we're in Florida or along the way, I'll find some different wheels and we can get rid of these ugly stalkers. But just wanted to keep you guys posed on that because these things are kind of sketch. Okay, I'm just headed through Monroe right now, I believe Louisiana. And I've been seeing, I'm on I-20 headed east towards Florida. And there has been so many, uh, I guess, or support for the truckers that are driving through here. It's been a while. I didn't know what was going on at first, but there's just groups of people on overpasses, on the side of the road, all kinds of stuff. I'll show you guys. All right, we're headed into Mississippi. I think it's like eight or nine o'clock at night. If you guys watched some of my other videos, I actually came the same way last time. these guys parked up there all right so i'm just getting gas right now it's probably around midnight uh, i'm in mobile mobile alabama however you say it i don't know i don't know if you say the e or not but i thought this was interesting i wanted to show you guys i'm just filling up the gas right now check this out you can get regular but 100 percent gasoline no ethanol with 420 a gallon and regular over here is 329 so I don't know what the difference would be. You don't really see that too often where it says contains no ethanol, but pretty cool it's at the pump and available, but comment down below if you guys would prefer, like would you guys fill up with that or would you just use the, the usual 87 if you guys have the choice? Okay, good morning to this little blue truck. Uh, this kills me looking at it this way, you guys. I cannot wait to make this thing look not like a bone stock truck, but it is what it is for now. You guys already know we will get to it. Right now I'm in Pensacola, Florida. I got here late last night. You guys didn't miss much. I was trying to capture more of that stuff for the convoy thing that was going on with the truckers, but every time that I tried to get the camera out, it was pretty much over and like it was pitch black. All you could see was like a bunch of cell phone lights waving around, but it was pretty cool to uh, see that going on. 
Anyways, I'm gonna try to make it to Tampa area today. Got some exciting news for you, but let's hop in this beast, start her up, get going. Right now I'm traveling a lot, obviously, but at some point I gotta make like some sort of review video on this video. Comment down below if you wanna see it. Like there's so many odd little things with this truck and the more I say it right now and talk about it, I need to make a video of this. Like look at how goofy this key is. I've never seen a Ram key like this. I wasn't even sure that how that worked, but it's so weird. Pretty cool view out here. This is just by Pensacola. There's a bunch of bridges and stuff going over. Not a bad view to get used to. All right, guys. Adventures with John, super random. So I saw this on Facebook Marketplace and we're out here at this STO Outfitter. Um, I saw that they had one of these backflips for a 6'4 box. There's absolutely nothing wrong with it. They said, I guess they installed these things here. They said that they there was some sort of leak or a customer complained about a leak, so they took it off and replaced it. But this thing is like brand new and it'll fit that. And you guys know how expensive these things are. They have it listed for like a 300 bucks. I just took measurements with my tape measure and I'm pretty sure it'll fit. It came off a 20, 20, 2500 with a six, four foot box. They're not sure if it'll fit mine, but I'm pretty dang sure it will. All right, so they're actually gonna let me try it, make sure it fits before I take it. So I'm gonna take off Jason's soft tonneau cover. Hopefully this works, fingers crossed, boys. Looks like it's gonna work, boys. The rails all fit, we took measurements, now time for the top. Okay, we're actually pretty much in Tampa. I had to run, you guys, and I was in such a hurry from putting that on that I didn't even get a chance to show you guys the tonneau, but I'll show you guys the bed cover in just a second. Let me spin this around. So like I mentioned, I'm down here pretty much in Tampa. The reason why I had to run down here is because I have a contract in on a home um, that I haven't even seen yet. In today's market, that's how crazy it was. Uh, I had to put an offer in on a house that I didn't even see, which sounds insane, sounds ridiculous, and it is, but that's just how competitive the market is. And uh, you know, with me being in different areas and shopping in different areas, I had to do like a virtual showing, but everything looks really, really good. Um, you know, on the pictures, the virtual showing went well, but the biggest thing, like I mentioned before you guys, it has a shop and not just any shop, it's got a pretty big shop on it. It's gonna be close to Tampa, close to the Freedom Factory, um, you know, all those other YouTubers that are down here. So, and Bradenton Motorsports Park, so that we can go and, you know, test out this stuff at the track. So. Pretty excited, let me spin this around and show you guys the drive there. So here's what the drive looks like. We've got hours and hours of bugs splatted all over the windshield on this thing. So once we get settled in down here in Florida, we'll have to give uh, this new truck a well-deserved bath. But this is what it looks like down through here. Uh, weather's good, it's 80 degrees outside, sunny, can't complain. Probably make a separate video on it, so, or maybe talk about it more on the Friday Night Live, but that's where I'm headed the next day. All right guys, so we made it down here. I'm actually near Fort Lauderdale uh, at my sister's place. You guys didn't miss a whole lot. Well, actually, I take that back. Kinda did in a way, but um, I am, as of the making of this video, you guys can probably see I'm either already gonna be at 100,000 subscribers or very close to it. Right now, I think we're like 100 shy of it, so by the time I post this, it might already be 100K, but I think I'm going to wait for the announcement of the house once I get it, and that'll be my 100,000 subscriber monumental surprise to you guys. So, um, also the other thing too is I want to, you know, maintain the you know privacy of others too. So, uh, I was thinking about you know showing the the house that I'm gonna be getting, but I'd rather just keep it as a surprise and wait till I actually have it. And it is like a tornado out here right now. <laughs> Hopefully, it's not too loud. But anyways, we're down here in South Florida. Um, the house that we're getting, if you guys can hopefully hear me over all the wind, is amazing, you guys. Uh, I'll just leave it at that. It's got a shop, it's got everything we need, but uh, I'll be releasing that once I actually get the keys to the place, and that'll be the 100,000 subscriber uh, announcement. So I could have almost done it with this Ram truck, but uh, I'm not the best at keeping secrets, and I wanted to share this with you guys. That way it gives us something to do in the next little bit here too. So, but I was in a hurry to get down here and I completely forgot to show you guys the tonneau. So it's almost better this way because it's actually dusted off right now. It had a bunch of leaves and stuff on it. She fits beautiful. We got this for 300 bucks, you guys. If you guys have ever shopped for one of these, you'll know that they're a lot more than 300 bucks. 
The last one I got for my Eco Diesel, I think I got for 200 or 250, but it had like a big dent over here. Not that I care, but just if we're gonna make this, you know, really pretty, nice looking uh, truck, then this one is flawless. So I'm pretty happy with this. It's just dirty. And what I'm gonna do right now is everybody's been asking me, and I agree, we're gonna go over and we're going to clean the engine base and it's it is absolutely filthy and i've already been busy getting some parts so we have a bunch of stuff that's going to be showing up from holly performance but in the meantime some of you guys love it some of you guys hate it but i think it's fun honestly getting stuff off ebay i can get it here in a day test it see if it does or doesn't work if it doesn't work uh it's no sweat off anybody's back we return it i mean that's you know it's legitimate that if it doesn't work it doesn't work so got a bunch of stuff what i did get was this stuff so you guys are going to be looking forward to a bunch of different videos i got the black hemi badge and we're going to replace that so rather than try to plastic dip i found one that was identical uh, i might link it down here for you guys i guess i can since you guys already see it but we'll end up installing that i was thinking of plastic dipping these but uh it looks like these have been removed before and they're all like drunk looking on the door like they didn't even put the, the spacing properly and it's a little bit short so i'm gonna just take these off you guys but comment down below if you guys want to see me put a set of these back on i think i'm just gonna take off the ram 1500 and we'll just stick with the hemi on the fender and ditch the ram 1500 on both sides but if not i'll probably order these in black they come already black in color similar to this but comment down below what you guys want to see there and then one last thing you guys already know i have a ton of led bulbs so i'm going to be doing different bulbs for you guys and this is one of the perks of getting this truck because a lot of you guys have this style tail light the halogen tail lights so i'm gonna show you guys and we'll compare a bunch of different bulb options in these um and see what's available see what's best in the market for you know the current time of making this video um see what's the best available so we'll do reverse bulbs we'll do stop lights and the cool ones that i have here actually these are switchbacks so you guys can look forward to that as well so i went and found switchback leds for the turn signal so that means they'll be white when you're just running lights and then it'll go amber when you actually do use your turn signals so i think those should look pretty cool i also have some tint film that i might try out the headlights look like they'll be really easy taillights will be a little bit more work but I have some tint film as well that i want to test out and see how it looks and of course headlight bulbs but um that's all coming so anyways i'm gonna run over to walmart get some degreaser and then we'll go spray this thing off clean it up and see what the engine bay looks like all right well i'm in walmart and you guys will see what i found i'm gonna show you guys what i got but they actually have Rotella Synthetic for the Eco. So based on what I've been seeing and the price that it is here, I'm going to pick myself up a bunch of jugs, you guys. Like, unfortunately, they don't have the big ones. They have that one. But while this is still available, I'm going to get this. You guys watch my other video. You can, like, barely find this anywhere. So I got myself Placid Dip. I'm going to do that on the front and rear emblems, the Ram Head ones. We got some Super Clean Degreaser for the engine bay. And then I also got another thing, a tire shine, which I use on the tires and also use it on the engine bay. So one last thing, I'm going to go get some fishing line so we can take off the emblems. Unfortunately, going to be that guy, you guys. So I completely cleaned out the shelf except for one. Uh, I just don't know when I'm going to be able to get it next. The price here is way cheaper than anywhere else, usually 22, 28. And even if I get a Cummins later, I can still run this stuff. So I'm going to pick it up while I still can since for whatever reason it's hard to come by just kidding cleaned off the shelf took the last one too so <laughs> I got a million of these things you guys I got 10 of them here we go also got some 50 pound uh line fishing line so that we can take off the emblems okay we're all loaded up with the oil we got our stuff let's head to the car wash all right here we go boys so we've got our super clean and the biggest thing a lot of people always ask about you know spraying this stuff down Biggest thing for me is just alternator, but honestly, you probably could spray that too and not have any issues. These newer engines, all the electrical connections are all watertight. Um, so even like the newer stuff where it's got like a Hellcat hood, they have open vents into here and everything is you know watertight connection. So you really don't have to worry too much. What we'll do first before we spray anything is I'm gonna blow off all this dirt and debris and there's just like, like tons of dirt. So I'm gonna spray it all off first, get it as clean as possible, and then we'll use a degreaser once we get all the filth off of it. Okay, so most of the heavy grime is off, which is what we wanted. Now we can spray our degreaser everywhere. 
let it kind of soak in. If there's any heavy spots, you can agitate it. This engine doesn't have any oil leaks, so there's really not like any spots we really have to agitate. And uh, we'll kind of just let it soak in for a few minutes and then we'll spray it all off again. She's all wiped down. I just used this thing. It's uh, I've had this for years. It's called the absorber. Um, I'm just letting you guys know because a lot of people always ask me what I use to clean this thing. I also used a non-acidic uh, wheel and rim or tire cleaner. Uh, I'll link that down below. It works really, really well, and it doesn't eat away at your rims. And what else? Right now, I am going to spray some tire foam, and I'll show you guys what I use. So this is stuff that I use on the tires. It's super cheap, it's only like five bucks. I don't really, same with everything on this channel, you guys, I try to just, I don't buy into the hype of overpriced things. If it works, it works. This is the one that I found works the best. I'll spray it on. Same thing under here, guys. I just use tire shine. I've used like specific products before, but they always get really sticky. Whereas this stuff, it just, like it says on the thing, black wet look. So it does the same thing to the tires, as long as it's not too windy and blows away like it's kind of doing right now. It does the same thing to the black stuff all in here, the black plastic. And after you kind of spray everything down, give everything a nice wipe. It's one of these microfibers, make sure you get into all the little areas that you can reach and get to. And I'll show you guys the finished product once it's all done and dry. And there you have it guys. That's what she looks like all cleaned up. Good to go, nice and shiny. She looking like brand spanking new. So I'll link everything that I used down below. Like I said, the wheel cleaner, the super clean, and uh, also the tire shine so that I use on here. So all three of those things, I'll link them. Let's get the heck out of here. I even wiped down the hood and the exterior around the pad too. Damn, that thing's smoking. Gee, look at that cloud. Cheech and Chong is gone. All right, guys, that's going to be a wrap for this video. So a bunch of other little things coming this week. And also, we got a ton of stuff going on with this truck. As I've mentioned a bunch of times, this is going to get Hellcat swapped eventually. But we're going to end up doing a bunch of cool and fun things along the way before it finally comes down and comes time to yanking that engine. So lots of stuff. Make sure you give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Hit that subscribe button if you're new to the channel. We'll see you guys on the next video.